At this hour, police are still looking for the killer. And now there is a $30,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. WJC is live near the scene of that crime. Avajoy Burnett with more on the reward and the community members who say they will not be silent. Avajoy. Good afternoon, ladies. Well, the city council member who represents this area told me that people actually took off from work today to come out here to this neighborhood and help hand out those $30,000 reward flyers. Many of these folks say they are determined to help find the person and bring them to justice. Nobody should do something like this. No one deserves to die like this. This is America. People in this Northwest Baltimore neighborhood are now motivated to help find a killer. If we sit and do nothing, it will continue happening. 31 year old Ephraim Gordon was murdered Monday near his family's home in Ford's Lane. It's not just about one man, it's like this is a pattern. Thursday, members of the Jewish community came together to hand out $30,000 reward flyers with the hope someone will be arrested. It's just devastated the entire community. And so you have a lot of people who have taken off of work to go door to door, hanging up signs to make sure that those who are responsible for his murder are brought to justice. Gordon is from Israel and was visiting Baltimore for the first time for a wedding. His sister spoke with Israel National News. Nothing was stolen. He had his watch that is here and his passport, his ID, his bag, the money. Baltimore's crime problem has been a big talking point for politicians this week. There is even a back and forth between the governor and mayor on Twitter about who should do what. Here are the numbers. 99 people were killed by this time in 2020 compared to 108 so far this year. The governor will meet with the mayor and police commissioner next week. I've met with now four mayors and five or six police commissioners in my six years as governor. Um, we haven't heard a plan yet from this current group uh, and I'm anxious to hear what their plans are. There were no reported homicides in Baltimore City in the last 24 hours, but according to Baltimore City Police, a 16-year-old and a 19-year-old were shot. They have non-life-threatening injuries. Back to this case here with Ephraim Gordon. Officials say no suspects have been arrested, but they're looking at surveillance cameras in the area with the hope that they could find a lead. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.